Hello educators and tech enthusiasts. You may have heard the news that Jamboard is winding down, but don't fret. Google and Figma have partnered to ensure that you experience a smooth transition to another online whiteboarding tool. Yes, that's right. Smoother than a knife slicing through my grandmother's chocolate Grenache cake. Allow me to introduce you to FigJam, your new best friend for interactive and dynamic collaboration. And here's the icing on the cake. It's absolutely free for education. Just imagine all the fantastic features you adored in Jamboard, but with a little extra dose of awesomeness. Today, I'm thrilled to walk you through what FigJam is all about and how you can harness its incredible potential. Before we officially get started, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is David, a former classroom teacher with a decade of experience spanning grade levels three through eight. Now I've seen the transformative magic of student collaboration and it's an absolute honor that Google is championing FigJam as an upgrade to your classroom toolkit, especially as Jamboard bows out. Let's go ahead and show you around. Welcome to FigJam. It is an infinite canvas, a lot different than the page model you're used to on Jamboard. Below you can see we have a doc, which has a ton of goodies. You can plop in sticky notes and do a lot of other stuff. Up here in the top left, we have a timer as well as some ways to play music and add in some voting systems. We have templates you can go ahead and put into your fig jams to make pre-packaged lessons ready for your students to use. And we also have a section where all your comments are stored for use if you want to check them out later. This video is going to have two parts. I'm first going to walk you through some transferable features between the two platforms. And secondly, I'm going to talk about some bonus elements that are going to take your class's collaboration and whiteboarding experience to the next level. Features like widgets. Look at how great this is. Stamps and emotes. Express yourself and don't stress yourself. And even systems like voting where I could go ahead, cast a vote and boom, we got lots of goodies packed in here for you. Let's get started. On to some transferable features. If you love Jamboard for the sticky notes, you are in for a treat. Inside of a fig jam, all you gotta do is come on down to this toolbar and plop in a sticky note and boom, you got some amazing things already happening. You can even change the color of this sticky note. You can click on this plus icon and you can add sticky note after sticky note after sticky note. And if you're like, wow, I really need a shortcut to add as many sticky notes as possible, hit the S key and boom, you can start adding sticky notes even faster than you can think. It's amazing. Speaking of amazing, click on that sticky, make sure your authorship is on and you can get credit for your ideas with your name in a cute little font in the bottom. Within sticky notes, you can go on in and change the text. You can change the font. You can change the size. You can change so many things about this that it really does allow for dynamic process to happen intuitively and efficiently. Another transferable feature is the marker and highlighters in FigJam. Go down to the toolbar, grab yourself a marker, choose whatever color you'd like and draw to your heart's delight. You can then grab the select tool and select certain parts of your drawing. You can change the color of those certain selections and you can even change the width. You can left click and multi-select a lot of different drawing elements. You can change those colors, you can change those thicknesses. And if you select on a specific drawn element, you can simply delete it without having to use the eraser tool. But if you want to use the eraser, go ahead and grab that and you can erase things similar to the process inside of Jamboard. The highlighter tool is found next to the pen tool. Select the highlight and the color in which you would like to highlight with. Click and drag and highlight onto the canvas directly. Click the select tool and even change those highlights after you've made them. Pretty neat. Teachers loved using images and GIFs in Jamboard. Let's see what that process looks like inside of FigJam. I'm gonna copy and paste a couple images from my clipboard, give them a cute little border, select this one over here, and I'm going to crop that to be a circle. Select this one over here, I'm gonna crop this one to go ahead and be a square. I can also change where this image shows up inside of that cropping if I want it to really pop and be a little bit larger, change the centering of it, I can even go in here and rotate and see how that image orients itself on the canvas. GIFs work great inside of FigJam, and we even have some widgets for you to go ahead and search for your own GIFs to customize your lessons. Another set of transferable features from Jamboard to FigJam are the shapes and connector tools. Now, there are quite a bit of upgrades in FigJam, such as the ability to fill a shape with text, unlimited color options, connectors, and more. Let me demonstrate. To start using shapes and connectors, go down to your toolbar and you can select from a plethora of shapes to begin with. I already have a process started, let's continue it. I'm gonna click on cats right here, click on this blue dot, and I'm gonna click on add another. I'm going to add my text and I'm going to change the color to be this nice light violet. I can click on the arrows themselves and add text between them. If I wanna change how this diagram looks, I can simply click on a shape and I can drag it and all of the elements that are attached to that shape stay consistent. 
This is a very easy way to make stunning diagrams like this. Furthermore, students can make timelines or there are so many options and ideas that you could probably run with as a teacher as to how to use shapes and connectors along with text as well as images to really make learning visual. It all starts with taking your ideas and turning them into plans and using the shapes and connectors tools is a great way to get that process started. Before we get to the last segment of this video, I just gotta point something out. We don't have a laser pointer, but we do have two features that I think are going to redefine how you experience this with your students. What you can do is go to the spotlight and observe features in FigJam. Go to the top if you're the presenter and you want students to follow you in the canvas where you actually are, click spotlight me. Everyone inside of this file, once this is uploaded, will be right where you are. If you zoom out, their computers will zoom out as well. If you zoom on in, their computers will also zoom in. You can then double that up using emotes right here, and you can show students where it is they're supposed to be looking, viewing, and the students can also in real time give reactions and have fun along the process with you with emotes. So we are gonna finish today's video with 10 Fig Jam features that are absolutely going to win you over and make you fall in love with this wonderful tool. Let's get to it. Number one is templates. You're gonna go up here to the top left. You're going to find a list and category of templates you can choose from. Maybe grab one from For the Classroom. Let's click on this one right here. Boom, look at this. We got a lesson ready to go. We can make each one of these for a different student. They got things they could do. They got prompts. They even have directions hidden inside of this lesson template that makes your lesson planning that much easier. Next, your links become cards. Bring in your favorite website, bring in your favorite YouTube video, copy and paste those into Fig Jam. They become nice, accessible cards for your students to see, and the YouTube videos actually play right inside of Fig Jam. What's going on? Speaking of bringing things inside of Fig Jam, go to your favorite Google Doc, copy and paste the link, bring it on into Fig Jam, and guess what? You can then edit that Google Doc, and so can students right inside of the Fig Jam. You don't even have to leave. It's amazing. And then there's widgets. A widget is basically a little app that sits on the canvas for you to use with others in the file. Go ahead and record your voice. That's a really fun thing to give feedback on. You could have students flip a coin. If they can't decide on something, they could join teams, roll some dice. You could even play Connect 4. Minds blown. You can go down here to more section, find your favorite widget, plop it on in, spin the wheel, select a student. There's so much you can do. If the widgets are pure magic, the stickers are pure fun. Go on down to the more section again, type in your favorite word. You can find a sticker, plop it on in, and it is absolute perfection. Really sprinkle in some joy into your lessons. Make it fun, make it pop, make your students like looking at it. Stickers. Another great feature is using tables. Yeah, you can even go ahead and copy and paste your table from a spreadsheet, bring it on in, control C, control V. You can go ahead and edit this. You can change things around it. There's so much you can do. You can also go down here, grab yourself a blank sheet, and you can edit to your heart's delight. Moving on, we got comments. To add a comment, go ahead and hit the C key on your keyboard and direct where you want that comment to go. Go ahead and plop it on there and start writing. You can even tag people that are inside of this fig jam. You can send it to them, and you can even start threads of comments and add emojis. It's a great way for students to collaborate and communicate with one another. Speaking of ways to give feedback, we got a couple of options for you inside of Fig Jam. One of the options is to set up a system like this, asking a question. Students or staff go to stamps. They then go ahead and plop a stamp of their choosing onto a sticky. As the viewer, you can go ahead and hover over a stamp to see who added that stamp onto the canvas. If you want to go one step further and be a little bit more official, go on up here to our timer section. You're going to click a new vote. You're going to add in how many votes people can cast, start the poll, and then go ahead and see what the votes look like. You can end it for all, and you can get some great data really quick, really fast, all in one spot. The second to last feature here is going to put us in a bit of a time crunch because we're talking about the timer. Set a timer in a fig jam to really keep your lessons on pace. Go to the top left, set a timer. You can even put on some nice music if you so desire. That timer is going to keep ticking, and you're going to keep talking. Your lessons are going to keep flowing. It's going to be amazing. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how you can share this out with your students. Go to share, copy the link to any one of your fig jams, go to your Google Classroom or whatever your LMS is, add a link, and you can bring that into your Google Classroom for your students viewing. Lastly, please head on over to figma.com slash jamboard dash edu. You hear that clock a ticking. Now, our time here is officially over. However, your adventure with fig jam has officially begun. Cheers.